you know, who would have thought? A Patriots fan finally making video about his favorite team for the first time in God knows how long. Anyways, Josh Uche has been stellar the past five games for the Patriots after being considered a bust for his first two seasons due to things like injury and just not being good enough to play. Judon and Josh are carrying the pass rush to heights that I could not have expected this season, but Josh's breakout moments are what is keeping me excited during most Patriots games, considering how bad our offense is, but shh. But before I get into this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel, as all support is very much appreciated, helps me out more than you can see. Now, let's get right into Josh Uche's breakout year. Well, that last part was kind of a lie, because I want to start off with his pre-draft report. Josh Uche went to Michigan after being a three-star recruit coming out of high school, but he would barely play in his first three years. In his first two years, freshman and sophomore year, he played in five total games and only registered one sack in both years combined. In his junior year, he'd be more of a rotational piece and garner seven sacks. But his senior season was the breakout year. He would have 10.5 tackles for loss and seven and a half sacks, while also being able to cover tight ends and running backs. He would then declare for the draft after that stellar senior season, and going to the NFL to Michigan, Uche was seen as one of the top pass rushers in the draft. Also a pretty good coverage guy, very versatile linebacker. Like I just said, he could do it all at the linebacker position. He's fast, strong, athletic, has great bend, which I'll get into later, and could rush from the inside as well. He did have his weaknesses though. Uh, he isn't very long, so sometimes bigger offensive linemen would take advantage of him and pause and had a bit of an injury history, but the biggest issue was his position. Would he be a coverage linebacker or a pass rusher? That confused a lot of teams, and he ended up falling to the second round where the Patriots would take him with the 60th pick in that 2020 NFL Draft. During his rookie year, he didn't play a lot. One, due to being a second stringer, and two, injuries. He was put on IR twice in his rookie season. But through nine games and only one game started, he was only able to garner 14 pressures, one sack, and nine tackles. His second year was basically the same story. Buried on the depth chart, having a couple injuries, leading to only 17 pressures, three sacks, and 12 tackles, while mostly being a special teams guy. However, 2022 has been a much different story. He started the year off slow. He missed a couple games in the middle point of the season, and he didn't register a sack until week eight when he came back from that injury. But ever since he came back, he's been dominating opposing offensive lines since that halfway point of the year. Uche sacked the quarterback seven times in the last five games. Yes, seven. And had three in a loss against Buffalo on Thursday Night Football in week 12. He also had a strip sack of Josh Allen and tackle David Questenberry was shivering in his timbers trying to block him. The former Wolverine has also had five tackles for loss and 18 pressures during this time. You know, this is a great thing for the Patriots because I don't know if anyone else has noticed it, but Matthew Judon's kind of disappeared the last couple games. So Uche's comeuppance, yeah, big word there, I know, don't worry. It's been needed. And I want to take a quick look at some of his best reps in the last couple of weeks and talk about what he is doing right now compared to his first couple years. Okay, so I want to start with this first play where Uche gets an inside release. Basically what he does is he's up against 68 on the left. He just goes fast, stutter steps inside, easy. I mean, Uche, the real good thing about him is his speed, and you can see that right there. While the play did result in a completion, it's the pressure that he puts on that makes Josh Allen get rid of that ball fast, and it was a positive play for the Bills. But that speed that he uses to get on the inside with that little stutter step is a beautiful move from Uche. And then the next play is again on the right side this time against Quetzenberry. Look at the bend right there. All he has to do is he hits him with a fake swipe and immediately just bends around Quetzenberry to get to the quarterback here and bring down Josh for the strip sack that Judon would end up recovering. That was a game-changing play even though we lost by 14. This next play, start on the right side, literally just inside move. All he has to do, if we go back here, Ball snap, fast inside move. Josh Allen has to scramble, and this play leads to an incompletion. Then again, he's on the left side here against Questenberry. Just easy, easy stuff. He, I mean, Questenberry is not the best tackle in the world. Let's not lie here. But he's just using his speed and his feet. He has great footwork to get around the tackle with some a little bit of arm in there too. And I don't even know what happens here. That was just 
That was just awful by the tackle. I mean, we go back here. He just stumbles. So, I mean, Uche got the sack, uh, which is good because, you know, he kept up with Josh Allen, but that wasn't even, like, his... Uh, I don't know. He didn't really try. And then that, that play is just stupid. This one is just stupid. Snaps the ball, and immediately within two seconds, fast, swim move... Uh, yeah, swim move inside, and just gets to Kirk Cousins, brings him down. And then here, he's lined up against the guard... Like I said, he's a very versatile linebacker. He can line up almost anywhere on the defensive line outside of, like, defensive tackle. But he lines up inside here, blitzes the guard, gets by him quickly with a great motion, great move with his hands. And then here on the right side against tackle, just easy, up and under, take down Sam Ellinger, which, I mean, isn't the hardest thing in the world. But I want to go back to that one. If we look here again, just easy, move, fake. He faked his hands there, take down the quarterback. I mean, that's what Josh Uche does for you. He does, he's great with fake moves, as we saw in these last couple plays. His speed is great. His bend around the outside is amazing. He can go up and under offensive linemen whenever he wants. I know my film analysis isn't the best thing in the world, and sorry, film nerds, if I didn't use the right terms or whatever. Even though I like watching film, so technically I'm a film nerd too, but shut up. I'll shut up. All of you just shut up. Anyways, that's just a couple of plays that show off Josh Uche's dominance since week eight. There definitely are more that were not in that clip, but those are some of my favorites because you can really see how good he is with his hands, his amazing footwork, the band he has, and the speed, and how all of that blends together to result in sacking the quarterback seven times in five games. Even with a bad start, Uche still has an 85.5 PFF grade and an 83.7 pass rush grade, both good for seventh in the league amongst edge rushers with at least 165 snaps. Without Josh Uche coming back and dominating for the Patriots, I don't know where our pass rush would be right now, considering Judon has not been doing well the past couple games. Watching him finally have his breakout moment has just been special as a Patriots fan. And with all that being said, that is it for me guys. Thank you for tuning into FNAX Sports. If you made it this far in the video, come on, just give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It's all support is very much appreciated, helps me out more than you know. Also, follow me on Instagram at FNAX Sports 25 and on Twitter and TikTok at Fanatic Sports. This is Joe of Fanatic Sports, signing off.